The tributes continue to pour in for former broadcaster Dennis Johnson, who passed away. Our Wendy Burt reports now on his passing and his death, which shocked many and left tears flowing and tributes pouring in. The importance of growing what you eat and eating what you grow. A distinctive voice was silenced last night with the passing of Dennis Johnson, well-known talk show host, former CBC News anchor and veteran broadcaster. Johnson, who began in the media arena in 1994 with then Radio Fusion, left banking and tourism behind for the microphone, where his hallmark was excellence in a media career which made him a man for all seasons, having covered from political campaigning to parliament openings, current affairs to comedy, and the list goes on. One attribute which stood out was that he was always logical and methodical. In paying tribute, minister responsible for broadcasting, Wilfred Abrams, remembered him as a man of passion who had a flair for outside broadcast. Dennis was passionate about his work, and this was evident. His contribution to broadcasting in Barbados is unquestioned. Dennis's wide-ranging interests and breadth of knowledge on an array of topics made him a capable and well-loved calling host. His role as a moderator on Down to Brass Tax is one of his most well-known media roles that endeared him to listening audience both in Barbados and abroad. As an announcer, he loved music of all genres and created programs that generated dedicated followers who praised him for his selection and arrangement of material. Dennis also had a unique way of drawing parallels and making cultural references that exposed his intimate experience of life and the vernacular of Barbados and the Caribbean. His peers have spoken glowingly of his adeptness in outside broadcasts. He showed a reliability for preparation, research, and attention to detail. Chief Executive Officer of the CBC, Sanka Price, remembers him as a mentor and true professional who came to CBC on November 15, 2001, as an executive producer and presenter. His death has really impacted me um, because he was one of the true professionals in Barbados journalism. Dennis spent two years at CBC um, in the early 2000s, but I think the real contribution that Dennis Johnson made is the fact that he was so forthright and he was fair and he was the type of person who was always approachable and he dealt with everything. So Dennis, I really will miss you and the whole CBC family will miss you. Former CBC General Manager Dr. Alison Leacock reflected on their professional relationship. As his colleague during my days in radio, Dennis's smooth tones often matched the music he played and the stories he told. Always a gentleman, Dennis was a deep thinker and brought that thoughtfulness to all that he did, always sharing a different perspective that we may not have considered. Broadcasting is more than a good voice. It is the ability to communicate effectively, depending on time and place, switching codes as needed, and speaking on air with an intimacy that could make you think, that broadcaster is speaking to only me. Dennis did that effortlessly with his unique cadence, care, and compassion. Station manager at Starcom, Anthony Green, said he played an integral role in training the new call-in presenters. We are reflecting on the excellence that Dennis brought to broadcasting. Indeed, he was a student of um, broadcasting. He, he remained uh, teachable, yet he was so knowledgeable as well and, and was and was very, very willing to share that knowledge with so many others that that he would meet, especially those coming in to media um, for the first time. And one of the things I admire very recently about him is how he integrated, initiated the new um, Down to Brass Stats moderators. The Barbados Association of Journalists and Media Workers, Barjam, remembered him as a Caribbean man having been born in Grenada but with roots in Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados. President Keith Goddard said he was the most professional broadcaster of the last two decades. As a veteran broadcaster, he had a love and deep conviction for the industry and used his wide knowledge and skills developed from his work over the years across the Caribbean in banking and hospitality to always offer a word of advice to ensure professional standards were always maintained. A man of many talents, 
Dennis sure that he was not only able to easily engage the attention of thousands of listeners on VOB's Brass Dance program as a talk show host, but he exhibited his passion for radio as a disc jockey, where he demonstrated his extraordinary skills and knowledge of music to a much wider audience. He lives to mourn his wife Joycelyn of 35 years and children Siobhan, Misha and Justin. A man for all seasons. Rest in peace and rise in glory, Dennis Johnson. Wendy Burke, CBC News.